is an updated video of my Central Florida 9B zone garden. Some f I have sunflowers all throughout um, the border of the plot. Then I have here some mint, some dill. It's not doing too good, but it'll come back. I have um, a few varieties of lettuce. Some melons, pepper there, Portuguese collard there. This is cilantro or coriander, whichever you want to. It's bolted, and I'm just going to let it self seed. I have a little fig tree there that I propagated from one of my other trees. Some more fennel there. I have these throughout, these buckets throughout. Um, my garden I compost in the in place. Parsley, oregano, I just recently harvested a bunch of my parsley and it's um, I've dried it. That's a uh, lemon uh, orange tree, more sunflowers in the back. Um, scarlet kale. Cabbage, some fennel, there's a lemon tree, some more Portuguese collards, another lemon tree. They were all flowering before the frost, and once the frost came, the flowers all died, and they never came back. I have mint all over the garden. It spreads, and I've been pulling it and putting it in pots. There's another cabbage. More fennel. More fennel. This is a Meyer lemon. That is a type of guava. It's a Portuguese kind. Supposed to be anyway. Hasn't flowered yet. Although I think it's about to. There's some more parsley. Pepper behind it. Some flowers on the back. Those in the far over there are Everglade tomatoes. Have some carnations over here. This is for the birds and the bees um, water station. Here I have some tomatoes staked up. I just actually put these in the ground yesterday. And a couple peppers. I have a little kale back there that's not doing so good. There's a uh, uh, Brussels sprouts back there. Curly kale there. Have some more sunflowers. My cauliflower did not do good. The bunnies got to it. I think it was bunnies. They did that and I never... I guess if you eat a lot of leaves, it doesn't come back and it didn't. I have two here. And I think that they're bolting. I'm not sure. This is an allspice tree. Have some more sunflowers there, and there's a small thing of lavender back here. Oh, it's not this tree. Here I have more tomatoes. And in they're starting to ripen. Um, I have in pots lots of mint. Like I said, it was just spreading like wildfire. And flowers. These flowers open up when the sun comes out, so they're all closed. Um, this little beauty here oh, for the pollinators. I'm trying to attract as many pollinators as possible, but I really haven't seen a whole whole lot. Hopefully, the sunflowers will bring them in, which will be too late. More tomatoes. Kale. There's a lacinto kale. Here's a fig tree. More tomatoes here. More flowers. 
purple cabbage, some curly kale, mint, flowers. I have these throughout the garden too, so I can have um, watering stations, and then I just put my uh, liquid seaweed in there when I when I want to feed them. I find it works good for me. That was fennel, the cabbage. This this kale is rare. It came out like this. Is now I never left. I never got rid of it, and it's always been this color, I don't know, but it doesn't grow too much. I think it's unique, though. I don't know, maybe some deficiency, or it's a gene thing, I don't know. Curly kale. This is some oregano. More kale, more kale. Actually, I think these are broccoli, so cauliflower. Cauliflower by the shape of the leaf. Lucinto. Another one. I think it's cauliflower. Um, tangerine. My money tree. It died from the frost and it's coming back. Another cauliflower. Some cabbage back there and on the border here. You see all the sunflowers. That's where my little lavender is right there. It is sure a slow grower, boy. That's been there for months. That is uh, another cauliflower. Another kale, another cauliflower, more lacento. Another fig tree. Here I have in tomato cages, I have some peppers, red, green, yellow, it's all one, it's just depends on how long you leave them out so they can ripen. More flowers, more mint, another watering station, yeah, here we have you. Those are all my pots that I compost in. There's another purple cabbage. Some peppers that I still haven't put in the ground. There's another um, scarlet kale. More mint. Another flower. Oh, beauties. I just recently put these tomatoes in here too. There's some peas. I took too long to transplant them. These, this. This round didn't do too well. I had put out some earlier and they were doing really good and then the bunnies ate them all. These are just, this was a, um, what do you call it? A bunch of seeds I threw in here because um, People say that if your seeds float, they're no good. So I threw them all in here and they all grew. This is all melons, I think. More flowers. Experiment. That's what I was looking for. Experiment. More Portuguese kale. Potted. That's another water station for the bees. Because I used to have just buckets of water and then I was finding bees drowned. So now I put rocks in it and water so they can float if they fall in there. I mean, so they don't die. Purple cabbage. There's a mango that I'm growing from seed. Another pepper. These are some Georgia collards that I've had well over five years. They were so abundant this year. I used to have about, I'd say 15 to 20 of them. And most of them were killed off by bugs last year. So I planted more this year. So more sunflowers, lots of dill. I have some thyme here. 
some mint, fennel, mint, another fig tree. This is an experiment I'm doing. I took a piece of, um, from the fig tree and just threw it and put it in the ground. See if it'll grow. Yeah. I'll just put it in this pot. Let's see if it'll grow. More mints. This one's looking, reaching out, looking to find somewhere to attach itself to the ground. That's a leek. That's uh, some onions from kitchen scraps. And another leek from kitchen, kitchen scrap. I have a couple peppers back there. That is um, bok choy that bolted. That bolted. And I am letting it sit out because the bees like it. And then I'll collect the seeds. More tomatoes. I recently added these as well into the ground. More tomatoes. On this here, I have beans, a variety of different beans. I experimented from beans from the store, and they all took. And so more, more kales. They're big. And purple cabbage, my fig tree. All the way back there, up against the house, that's my potting station. My husband absolutely hates that I have so much stuff in the garden. He's not a gardener. This is um, cilantro that's bolted, parsley, I mean uh, dill, the sunflowers, more sunflowers. I've done three of the, no, two walls so far. I've got to do the other wall. More kale, collards. Georgia collards. A couple tomatoes in here. That's a bean. I had a whole row of beans here, but they died from the, fr the frost. A fig tree. More collards. These are, what kind of collards are these? These are Morris heading cabbage collards. And there I have some peas. More lucentos, cabbage, lettuce that's bolting, also for collecting purposes. I let everything bolt because I like to I like to see the flowers. Here we have some mint, some dill, some collards, or something. More br more collards. Some thyme. Composting. Banana tree. Chinese cabbage. And some dill. Some kale, some lettuces, a tomato that grew from last year. I don't know what kind it is. Some rosemary. This is a gardenia. Not doing good at all. I don't know. Doesn't like it where it is. I have the sunflowers in the back. This here is, I thought these were mustard greens, 
but I don't know. They're huge. They're bolting too. These I grew from seed, and the packet said mustard green, and they're also bolting. Um, the leaves are quite different than those, so I'm not sure. More mint back there. Some carnations. I have some melons that I transplanted here. Hoping that they would climb up the use the sunflower as let it as uh, climbing. These cabbages. I have a lem a pink lemonade in there. Can't even see it because it's covered by the big leaves. This is a uh, lemon tree. That's Spanish herb. I forgot what it's called. I mainly bought it because of the flowers for the pollinators. And another kale, I think. Lots of fennel. I have a little bird watering thing right there. I have some peace lilies. Rosemary, carnations, some cilantro. My guava tree was doing horrible and it completely died, but now it's coming back. So hopefully it will give me something this year. More composting, more kale. I have some cilantro there. I love cilantro, so I planted it everywhere so I can seed and self sow. More Georgia collards. Planted some flowers. They didn't do too good. They did for a little bit, but I don't know. There's one here, so. But I'm leaving them in the ground because I heard that they amend the ground for the other plants. Another, I think this is a Meyer lemon, I think. Ponderosa lemon. Ponderosa. Some more kale. Some little critters have been chomping on it. I have more watering over here. There's some oregano spreading there. I was watering that. A loquat. Lots of fennel. Some kale back there. Some kale. Here I'm gonna have some more lettuce that's bolting, some kale, some spider plants. I love them for the colors. Lots of um, places for the bird, for the bees to drink water from. More, more dill, cilantro that's getting ready to bolt. Does anyone know why this happens? Why does this happen? broke off. There's some cauliflower. Have some mint. Cauliflower. Thai basil. It's bolting. More cilantro that's bolting. Another lemon tree that's hidden there. It's another fake branch I took right off a tree. And put it in the ground and see if it's going to... That one had, that one had um, roots, so we'll see. I put it over here because this side, which is my 
south facing side of the yard gets more shade more fennel another it's one of these little lemons what are they called calamondian something they're small they like lemons and uh, I had a a purple cabbage in here but a red cabbage but they died I had a couple here and they, they all died and um, lettuce, I put some corn here. That one's a little corn. Some lettuce that's bolted. Kale. So yeah. Very nice to go out in here in Central Florida because in the middle here, my brother made me this thing. It's supposed to be like one of those hand washing stations by the olden days and that was supposed to be like a barbecue pit. But um, another thing my husband hates that thing. He wants it out. This is where I put like my work in progress. So I have a lot of things that I've had to pull off the ground because they were in the wrong places or whatever. These bunch of peppers. Um, there's spearmint, and over here it's, um, these are onions from cuttings. They are coming through. I root them in the house and then I put them outside. These are just, uh, I think it's dark opal basil. They're from seed. I'm just letting them get a little bit bigger here. These are from, uh, cabbage cores. From in the house that they do grow this one and that one this is purple basil from seed um, these are just here waiting to be uh, potted this is a pear tree that I planted from seed I don't know it's not doing too good tell me why tell me tell me why these are pink lady apple they were very easy to seed they were uh, germinating even inside the apple. These are avocados. Experiment. I'm just throwing the um, pits in here and see if they break through. I've had that happen before. So far, no go. They've been there since the first. These are... Uh, what are they called? I have more over here with a tag. I forgot. Swiss chard. These are Swiss chards. I just up. It's my first time growing them, and um, I think they're late. They took so long. These are some flowers. I think they're zinnias. No, the gazanias. I put them in the same pot because they're the same, but they're from seed. These are rosemary that I took from the tree, and these are cuttings. These are kales, uh, little kales that were growing on the sides of the trees, and I accidentally pulled them off, and I put them in the pot to see if, if they'll grow. These are lettuces from seed. I'm just letting them get bigger. This, I don't know what it is. It was in the, in the growing in the garden, and I pulled it out to see what it was. These are melons, a variety of melons. Some more Swiss chard and some fennel. My runt tomatoes. And fennel. I have a huge problem getting rid of plants. So I give them all an opportunity. These are my pothos. I had them in the house, but I had such a problem with gnats and uh, aphids. Fungus gnats? They were nasty. I brought all the plants outside. <laughs> So I have them all here, and that's, <coughs> excuse me, <Those. coughs> oh, excuse me, here I put all my, um, I made this huge table so I can just put all my seedlings on here, and it actually 
Works better to germinate them because they get the direct sun better than under the lights inside. Get less leggy. These are some succulents that I'm growing from cuttings. This one here is an experiment from the dollar store. I got a box of seeds and I just put them on there to see if anything grows. These are all sunflowers and some other varieties here. More sunflowers. My Rocco, he's asking to come out. He knocks with, with his tail. He's going to be 14. He just recently lost his hearing. And his eyes are not that good. But I'm still blessed to have him. He's going to find somewhere to poop. These are some tomatoes that are wait still waiting to go into the ground, too. I um, use these as little... put holes in them, and I use them as watering cans for the, for the seedlings. Peppers. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet. All my pothos down there. I made this from some old chairs and just some pieces of wood. I like it. It's not very, uh, this is what I do. I have my electricity here so I can listen to Alexa. I do some water in here, just dump the whole, put the whole tray in here. More pothos. I have all my succulents here. I collect water in the buckets. And this is where I mix my soil. My husband made me this. It's very wobbly, but it's working for the purpose. Hopefully he'll make me a better one. If and when this one kicks the bucket. And then I have this here. For water, for bigger plants. And that's my garden. I absolutely love being out here. And working on the garden. And Rocky likes it too. Because he likes to be outside with Mama. Thanks for watching.